We do need volunteers at sporting clubs, and there's a man who's heavily involved in his local football club, and that's Edith Val Aspendale in the Morning Peninsula Football Netball League, and he is a legend. He doesn't like to think that, but he is a legend with the Morty Alec Cricket Club, and that is Aaron Martello. He's the club president. He's been involved in the first for a long, long time. He's played in numerous premierships. He's still playing. He's 50 years old. He looks about 40. Does the body look 50 or feel 50, Aaron, or does it feel younger than that? The body at the moment, Dan, feels about 80. But, um, yeah, it's, I suppose, perks of the job when you've had such a long career. What makes you keep coming back and playing for this cricket team, even though you've said you've retired a few times? Yeah, and I just love the place, mate. Uh, born, and, born and bred here. My father was part of the furniture, and I've just carried on from, um, from him. He was present for a long, long time and set the club up and, you know, to be honest, probably responsible for what what has um, eventuated here over the last you know, 10, 20 years. Well, wonderful club rooms. We know they played in the VFL a long time ago, so they're a reputable sporting club in the area, aren't they? And there's a big winning culture, particularly with the cricket team, having won three of the past four first-grade premierships. Why do you think they've become so strong in first grade? Uh, well, I think, Dan, you know, it's a good question, but traditionally, you know, Morty Alec used to be um, traditionally a working-class club. You know, it was a working class area. Uh, people, you know, they, they really had to roll their sleeves up and get things done. And I think out of that, you know, just, um, you know, out of all that hard work, you know, has has brought some prosperity to the club da down the track. I mean, years ago I used to come here and everyone would be rocking up in there holding Commodores and Ford Cortinas. And now you, you look around in the car park, you know, there's BMWs, Mercedes and Audi. So, yeah, that's a, the way that, the you know, the, the suburbs changed over the years. But... You know, it's still a lot of hard work needs to be done, you know, to keep successful. And, you know, we're lucky we've got a number of volunteers here that, you know, give a lot of their time to, to make the club what it is today. So, you know, in the past we've been the envy, you know, on on the field and, um, you know, with our facilities here, I suppose, we're the envy off the field now. But we just got to work, work hard to make sure we stay on top. And you're attracting good players. Uh, Ian Davis has been here five years from Sri Lanka and played in the Sri Lankan A team and captain the great Kuma Sankar. I've just spoken to him. He was the star in the grand final last year and a good mate of his is a fellow called uh, Kula Sakura. Played a lot of cricket for Sri Lanka. What a great addition he'll be when he gets here. Yeah, no, very, very good addition. We're really lucky to have him and um, just uh, obviously just during the off season I keep in touch with Ian and um, he sent me a message on WhatsApp and you know said uh, no one killed the sacra um, is interested in playing. I thought, oh yeah, how much is he going to cost us? So um, I made the call and um, as Ian mentioned before, um, a lot of the Sri Lankers they just want to come over here for the lifestyle. You know, they fit in well culturally, and um, you know, spoke to no one as Ian said he was a really nice bloke. You know, and you know the deal was done within within minutes, and um, he arrives in a couple of weeks. And yeah, we're looking forward to having him, and I'm sure he'll impart a lot of knowledge, you know, both on the field and off the field. But just just to have his experience and his, um, you know, his skill set out on the field is is a big burn for the club. Being a club legend, do you feel also by continuing to play, it's your responsibility to keep blooding young players and teaching them all about the game and all about the culture that is the Mordiala Cricket Club? Yeah, well, I hope so. You know, the club's in a bit of a transition at the moment. In you know, in the past few years, we've had a, a number of guys that have sort of gone back, you know, and and helping out in the lower grades. One of our, you know, really really good players, Leon Kennedy, you know, played in about four or five flags and uh, has um has now come down to captain the seconds. You know, he's been a really good player. He played district cricket as a kid, uh, played first turf cricket, you know, at the age of 14. You know, I still think he's a young bloke, but at 43 years of age, he's um, imparting his wisdom. He's he's um, captain of the twos, as I said, with a couple of other older guys. So, you know, we've got a good lot of young young kids coming up. We've got really strong junior program. I think we've got something like 12 or 14 sides down there, and um, you know, we just keep keep promoting them. Um, you know, we want them to go on and play better cricket. Some have gone up town this year, and um, you know, some are playing in the first this year. I think this year we. Um, there's four guys debuted for their first game in the first and you know in the in the seconds which I'm a part of I think we've got eight eight kids under the age of 21 so you know all goes well for the future. Good on you Aaron great to chat congratulations what you're doing down here congratulations on your cricket career so far and good luck again this year hope the body holds up for you. Thanks very much Dan. Get your game face on 